Obviously, a lot of athletes will be flying over to Japan this summer, and that will definitely require shifting in time difference and obviously jet lag as well. So are there any interventions that athletes can put in place and staff as well for once they um, start that trip over to Japan? Yeah, sure. Now, it's first important to understand that it's easier to travel west than it is to travel east. So that's not great if we're traveling from the UK to Japan. And this is because traveling west requires us to extend our day, go to bed later, which we can relatively easily control. Whereas when we're traveling east, it requires us to get to sleep at an earlier clock time, a time when we're just not sleepy yet. So let's, let's just imagine we're traveling from the UK to Japan. So according to our UK body clock, we might arrive in Japan, say around 1 p.m. But according to the local time in Japan, it's already 10 p.m. bedtime, according to the clock. We'll find it really hard to get to sleep for the night when our internal clock still thinks it's 1 p.m. in the afternoon. When we travel home from Japan, this will be a little bit easier. Because on the first day home, we'll simply stay up later than usual. So that's where we have to delay our rhythm. Now we can delay our biological clock by around one and a half hours per day in the new time zone. But to phase advance when we travel east, we can only achieve a one hour phase shift per day. So if we're traveling east from the UK to Japan, which is nine hours ahead, it will take us nine days to fully adjust. That is to fully advance our rhythm to the new time zone. If we're traveling west back home from Japan to the UK, we'll be able to phase delay our rhythm to the new time zone within six days, 